we're looking at right now is a very, very perplexing crime scene. We have a sad update to a story we've been following for you. Family members confirm this San Antonio pregnant woman who disappeared the day before she was scheduled to be induced is found dead. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Daniela Guzman. Keith has the night off. KPRC News, Rowan Belogan is in the newsroom following this story. Joining us now with those latest tragic details. Rowan? Yeah, Daniela, it's a horrible update here. Family members of 18-year-old Savannah Soto tell us she and along with her boyfriend were found dead this afternoon inside her car. The condition of the unborn child is unknown at this point and authorities investigating it as a possible murder. Because of the, uh, the complexity, the uh, complex crime scene, uh, we can't say for sure what we have. <laughs> An investigation, so there are plenty of moving parts. The San Antonio police chief said he is waiting for the medical examiner's office to confirm the identity of the victims. But again, family members of Savannah Soto tell our sister station it is the 18 year old. The expected mother was supposed to be induced for labor Saturday, but she didn't show up to the hospital. This is when her family grew concerned and called Leon Valley Police, who issued a clear alert. Now, the clear alert program used yesterday for Soto is for missing, kidnapped or abducted adults who are believed to be in immediate danger. Now, the Kia Optima where the bodies were found belonged to Soto's boyfriend, Matthew Guerra. He's here's a bit of that news conference with San Antonio Police Chief. Take a listen. Did the family call in about the car? Yes, the family did. They were they were they were alerted that the car was here. Uh, and they phoned it in. You know how long uh, they may have been here for? We're thinking possibly uh, for three or four days. Now, the vehicle found about three miles from Soto's apartment or where she was last seen. At this point, it's not clear who came across the vehicle, but again, they were no they notified Soto's family. Now, this is an ongoing investigation, so we don't know what led up to their deaths, but we'll keep tracking this and have details on our website at clicktohouston.com. Live in the newsroom, Ramon Belogan, KPRC 2 News. Oh,